Hi, I'm Seamus Cunningham and I'm an Area Sales Manager with Iridex. Today I'm going to go over the programming of the IQ577 and IQ532 lasers. To program a preset on the IQ series laser, you first need to open the preset menu by touching the icon at the top of the screen. Once that's open, you can select the preset that you would like to program. Here we'll select Preset 5 and press View. This opens the screen where you're allowed to program the preset. To program the preset, first we're going to change the name by pressing the bottom left of the LCD screen. This will bring up a keyboard that will allow you to delete the existing name and type in the new name for the preset. The next step is selecting your micropulse setting. By pressing the blue icon, you can now turn micropulse on. You can select your default duty cycle. For focal treatments, we'll be selecting 5%. And then you can press OK. As you can see now, the power setting has turned from white to yellow, and there is a ribbon running through the center of the screen. On the IQ577, this will be a yellow ribbon. On the IQ532, this will be green. But both times, the power will be in yellow when micropulse is on and white when micropulse is off. The next step is to program your duration, power, and interval. You can do this by rotating the knobs under each setting. Once you have this set, you can press save. You can now select that setting and it is saved as a preset. Today I'm going to go through the step-by-step -step for setting up an IQ577 laser. First step, turn the key to start the laser. The laser will initialize within 40 seconds. The Texel control box has a blinking green light on the front. Once that green light goes solid, the laser is initialized and ready for surgery. Once the laser is initialized, the first step would be to select your preset. Here we'll be selecting Micropulse Focal. You would select Micropulse Focal and then press the select icon. The next step would be to select your spot size. The spot size can be selected by rotating the dial on the slit lamp adapter. You can also check the spot size by the black line across the top of the LCD screen. Here it says port one, tech cell, 200 micron. To select a pattern on the IQ577, you'll press the pattern icon located above the interval dial. This will allow you to select from grids, sizes two by two, all the way up to seven by seven, a triple arc, or a circle. For our micropulse focal, we'll be using a seven by seven grid. You can also adjust the spacing by rotating the dial underneath the spacing and press OK. You now have a pattern selected. The last step is to press the treat and standby button. Once you press that button, the green light will blink four times. Once it turns solid, you are ready to treat. If anyone touches the pedal prior to that light turning solid green, the laser will revert to standby. To put the laser back into standby, simply press the treat standby button and it will go right back into standby mode. To shut down the laser, you simply need to turn the key off. This will shut down the entire system. 